Hey there, this is Rick. I hope everyone's having a great day. Okay, I'm doing a little experiment today. Uh, this is my Barky, uh, sorry, Berkey light water filter. I've had it for over a year now. I've just given it a clean out and I'm doing the test which you do. Uh, on the first use after a clean out, what you do is you add color, uh, food coloring to the water above to make sure that it filters out the food coloring. It's a really good test to make sure that the filter's working properly. I've also just recently acquired something called a TDS meter. This, I believe, stands for Total Dissolved Solids. And what it does, it measures the parts per million uh, in uh, any kind of liquid. And uh, so what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be testing uh, various, making various comparisons, and it would just be interesting to uh, kind of, you know, get the results. Right, we're back. Um, I've allowed that uh, the red stuff to flush right through, and now I've got a, a proper. Uh, this is basically tap water here, and it's been running for the last sort of 20 minutes or so. And so I'm going to do this parts per million test and uh, see what happens. So this, uh, we've got three very clean, dry glasses. Uh, this is the uh, the filtered water. I'm going to use some bottled water that was bought from the shops uh, as a sort of a control and a comparison. And this is going to be just cold tap water. So start off um, with the tap water, just as a thing. Right, 320 parts per million. Right, 317 parts per million for the tap water. Let's go straight to the filtered water, 299, so it is lower. So you've got 299 parts per million for the filtered and 315. Right, so it has taken uh, 15 parts per million out of the tap water, which is good. And just as a control, so that, that was 299 parts per million and then out of the bottle, 175. So it's like the bottle water is much, much more filtered than the Berkey, uh, which is almost, it's not quite twice as many parts per million, but almost, or getting on that way. And then this was so 307, so that's basically the same as the tap water. So, there we go. Uh, when I compare the Berkey water with the, the bottled water, 171 parts per million for the bottled water, 295 parts per million for the, no, 299 parts per million for the Berkey. The 299 and then the tap water, 315. I'm a little bit disappointed with the Berkey because I was, you know, because they're saying it takes out 99.999999999% of uh, all of the, uh, the contaminants in the water, I was expecting that number to be lower. But there again, parts per million may not be the the correct unit of measurement uh, to find out the, the purity of this water. Um, it just kind of seems a bit slightly logical that, you know, obviously the more filtered and the more pure the water is, there should be less parts in it. That's um, that's the thinking I've got going on here, but I'm not a scientifically trained person, so I may be completely wrong. But there we go, just thought I'd make a little video uh, for curiosity more than anything else. but. Um... Yeah, it'd be interested to hear your comments and if you've got any ideas or perhaps whether you own one of these yourself and have similar numbers if you've measured them. I think these, these are very cheap. You can buy these on eBay for not a lot of money at all. And uh, I thought it was worth, uh, worth getting one just to try this out. Okay, that's it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.